What's up, YouTube? Back again, man. Look, more game, more game, and more game, right? Y'all can tell I'm having fun. All right, so look, uh, shout out channel member, shout out uh, to channel subscriber. Share this video with your cousin Jimbo and your cousin Sally and your uncle John and your aunt Sally, right? Because they need this information, right? So look, I got some information for you on today amen that's kind of relative to the south but some of everybody i believe can relate to this in some form or fashion maybe with some other kind of phenomenon that happens in your area right so the title of this video today is the problem with afternoon showers right the problem with afternoon showers right so here in south louisiana afternoon showers are a common thing uh, ever since i was knee high to a duck knew what the weather was all right in the evening time during the summer the daytime heating mixed with something else they say causes pop-up showers in the evening right two three four o'clock sometimes it could be early as one o'clock sometimes it'd be as late as five o'clock right but they typically happen right and they're happening right now at the time of this video they've been happening uh probably for a few weeks now you know ever since it started getting really hot down here all right, our temperature is running 85, 90, even 95 now, right? All right, so it's very humid and hot here in South Louisiana, and afternoon showers is something that you do have to contend with, right? So uh, typically, this is nothing new to us. We know how to work with it, around it, and through it, right? All right, so most of the time, I can tell you uh, most of the days we make, right? Uh, it just depends on where it's going to be happening at. The pop-up showers are not a widespread event of rain, and so it's scattered, right? might be a pop-up over here, and it could be three miles down the road, and it's not doing anything, right? So most of the time, I can tell you that we pretty much make the day, or we at least end up with eight hours or something like that, right? All right, I'm saying that because I know uh, recently we got a question on the live chat about you know what about these evening showers what about these evening showers right and we talked about the fact that uh that ain't stopping nothing right now and we talked about how even in atl uh i think butch russell was declaring that yeah it was pop-up showers but <laughs> those trucks uh with uh some of those contractors out there on the roadway were still going all right and so uh these pop-up showers are something you got to deal with but uh, they're not stopping anything. Now, let me say this next, that if you're on dirt, obviously, if a shower comes and you're hauling dirt, then it could uh, cut you off at that point. Why? Because two reasons. Because they don't want the road tracked up with mud, dirt, which turns into mud. Somebody's car could skid and slide, could cause an accident. All right. And then if you're hauling work, work, wet dirt, you know, that's not doing anything any good for the job that you're uh, hauling on, right? So typically, dirt will get shut off like immediately, any kind of little, you know, even when the drop started, the drizzling starts, right? All right, so, but I can tell you that road work will typically keep on kicking, right? Because you could be hauling stone, you could be hauling asphalt, you could do um, uh, uh, recycle. I recently said to you, I think also that uh, we were on, my guys were on recycle uh, last week, pop-up showers three days in a row. And shoot, the guys, the company uh, workers on the machine, all they did was just come off the machine, stood up on the machine, you know, that, that's enough room for them to just get up under the machine and they just waited the 10, 15 minutes for the shower to pass and then they went, we went right back to work, right? So that's how it works with these afternoon showers, but it's just good to be on road work. You know, I'm a road work advocate, right? Because that's what's going to work you the longest and that's where they're going to put the most money in your pocket over the long term, okay? All right, so um, what ends up happening, the good part about this as well is that also the after the showers pass, Remember, it's still 85, 90 degrees. It typically dries the road up. Matter of fact, today as we speak, and I look out my window, just two hours ago, it rained real good, right? Pop-up shower line was moving through. It lasted 15 minutes. It rained really hard, right? We're scheduled to go out to work tonight, right? Sun is back out bright now. And it's at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, so I don't have to be there till 6.30. So it's like got three or four more hours to dry that road up. They haven't canceled the job. We're still scheduled to go tonight, right? So that's what I mean by the, the heat and humidity will actually dry it up, 
suck it up and you'll go back to work like me tonight. Or for those of you guys wondering what that next day is going to look like, you're going to have to be able to go work the next day because the heat and humidity is going to dry the road up, right? All right? So let me say this. Even if you're on a dirt job, I've seen it happen. I've been on jobs. Even if it rang you out and you were hauling dirt, those guys would take the dozer, skim the top off of the wetness. Hear me well. Skim the top off of the wetness and say, hey, we're ready to go in the morning. Or if it's a broom, they'll take the broom and sweep the road, get the little excess that may have gotten on the road, and boom, you're ready to go the next day, right? So that's how it works. Don't let these kinds of things uh, hinder you or spook you or shy you away from the dump truck business because uh, just because a little shower will come through. In the summertime, when it's dust flying and that ground has packed hard and, and gotten you know to a place to where it's a good foundation, look, them folks trying to work. The thing that you have going for you is that these contracts are on a timeline. They got to get the work done, right? And so <laughs> they can't afford to just say call it a day every day because some pop-up showers come. They trying to work as much as they can, all right? So look, if this video has been valuable to you, hit the like, hit subscribe, share this video about the problem with afternoon showers but this video has a solution and clarification all right so country ceo i'm out of here